Hello, hello. I am so excited about this cookie cutter organizer. I had the idea um, and it just worked out exactly like I thought it was going to and I hope that it solves a problem for you um, also. So it is a PDF that runs in an app on your uh, device, tablet. If you have an iPad, I highly suggest that you use GoodNotes. Um, if you have GoodNotes, um, looks like this. If you're running on an Android device, I highly recommend you use the app Note Shelf. Um, I'm going to be going over GoodNotes in this tutorial because that is what I'm familiar with. Um, Note Shelf does have the handwriting search capability and all of the hyperlinks work, so that will work as well. But this tutorial is focused on GoodNotes. Um, Okay, basically going over the organizer, I'm going to be going over um, this video in a rather organized fashion because there is a help tab and I will be linking to these sections of the video directly from the inside of the organizer. So if you forget how to do something, you just click on it and get a really quick refresh and a reminder how the GoodNotes um, tools work. Um, and stuff like that. So first of all, the first question that I normally get in these digital planners, um, or this one's an organizer technically, is that the tabs don't work. So if we were to click on these tabs right now, it's going to take us to the different sections. There are two different modes in GoodNotes um, that you can be in. We can be in the navigation mode, which is we're in right now, or we can be in the editing mode. So if I click on this circle up here with the pencil, you're gonna see all of the tools and now we are in editing mode. So instead of clicking on this link over here, it's not gonna go to four, we are actually writing. Um, so if you wanna navigate around the planner, you wanna make sure, let's, let's erase that, we don't want that there. If you want to navigate, you want to make sure that this has a little circle around it. And when you're in navigation mode, it has the little like line through the pencil. Okay, so next is using the GoodNotes tools. Um, for this planner, we're not going to use a whole lot of the tools, but I will go over some of the basic ones. Um, let's get in one of these pages. Okay, so we have our writing tool up here, and if you click on it a second time, you can change the type of pen and the sharpness and the pressure sensitivity. Um, and over here, you can change the color of the pen. Um, let's go with like a navy. And I usually just stick with the, I like the fountain kind of medium, medium. That's what I like to write with. Um, and then over here, you can change the thickness of the pen. So it's kind of thin, medium, super fat. So I think I'm usually in medium. That's, yeah. Okay, so there's the pen. Next um, is the eraser so you click on that one for the eraser and it's just different sizes of eraser so if you go big just erase a whole bunch of stuff um, this is a highlighter which we won't use and I, I don't imagine you would use a highlighter in the planner but again it has different sizes and if you draw a line and hold it it actually makes it straight um, you can make it wiggly or you can draw and hold it and it will make a straight line let's erase those out um, we definitely won't use the shapes. The selection tool we might use. Um, let's just, if you want to move uh, your handwriting, you can circle it um, and, and move it around the planner um, or tap it and you can resize it as well. If you find that you've written too big and you need to make like your text smaller to fit more in then you can do that as well. Uh, we won't be using the elements. I will show you what that is though. There's, uh, they're basically stickers. Um, these are stickers that I actually made for the planner, but there are some that come pre-installed. 
like the sticky notes come pre-installed. So if you wanted to put a sticky note on one of these to remind you that you're going to use it for a certain holiday or something, you can totally do that. And then the images, this is where you will insert um, images into your planner. And I will go over that in a little bit more detail in just a little bit. Okay, so those are base, oh, text tool, last one. You can, if you don't wanna write, you can type in your text, um, location, you can just type in if you wanted to. The thing about the text is it doesn't erase, um, like the erase will erase that, but it won't erase the text. To get rid of the text, you actually have to select it um, and just delete it. And then the whole text box will go away. There's not a text box there anymore. Um, if you like click around, there's no text box. Um, and that is it for the tools. So let's move on to duplicating pages. Um, so I, this, let's get out of editing mode. If you click um, kind of once, it expands out to the whole page. And if you click it again, then you get the tools at the top. Okay, so duplicating pages. Each one of these 15 sections um, comes with one, two, three, four pages behind it to put cutters in. Some sections you'll need less and some sections you'll need a whole lot more. Um, so the beauty about digital planners is you can duplicate pages as many times as you want. So to duplicate these pages, it's actually come in section one, so it's more obvious. So we have four pages behind section one, but if I wanted more, let's say I knew that I had a whole lot and I wanna put a 12 pages in section one. So I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna hit the four boxes here. And then you can see that it selected the page that I was already on. So here's the section one and the first um, cookie cutter kind of organization page. So I'm gonna hit select and I'm gonna select these four pages. I'm gonna hit copy and then I'm gonna hit done. And now I wanna put it after this last page. So if I hit the down arrow and I hit add page after and paste pages, it's gonna add those four pages right after the four previous pages. And then I can do it again. So I'm gonna hit add page after and paste pages. So now after section one, we have four, eight, 12 pages. And we can see that that's true by coming in here coming to section one, and now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 cookie cutter pages before we get to section two. So you can keep adding um, as many pages as you want. Yeah, that's basically that. So that was duplicating pages, moving pages. I don't really see you needing to move pages a whole lot. Um, Let's get in here so we can actually see what we're doing. So I'm gonna mark up a page so we actually know what this page is. Let's come in here and we're gonna write move right across the front of it. So we know that this page right now is right after section one and we're gonna move it to the end of section one because that's where we want it or if we want it in a different section. So I'm gonna hit these four tabs up here. I'm gonna push down and hold it and you just drag it to where you want it to go. So I see section two there. Let's actually put it at the beginning of section two instead of the beginning of section one. Um, and then hit close. So now if we go to section one, that page is not there anymore. If we go to section two, it has moved there. So if you need to move pages, it's super easy to do just like that. Okay, so let's come in, delete that mess. Okay, um, a general overview of the planner. So let's come out of editing mode, get in the index. Um, the way I intended this to be used, obviously you can use it for whatever you want, um, is to write the different categories that you wanna organize with 
So like Halloween, Christmas, plaque cutters, alphabet cutters, food cutters, animal cutters, whatever categories you want to um, create and organize your cutters by, you would write um, on this line. So let's just write Christmas. Oh, I'm erasing. Make sure you're on a pen, medium. We are going to write Christmas um, and then I'm gonna come and you can either click on this one or you can click on the tab one and it will get you to the same section category again I'm going to write Christmas and then that's how you would fill in your index so as you need to kind of fill it in you navigate through the planner with this or this and then we're in here um, and then the way I'm going to use it is I'm going to upload an actual image of the cutter here if the website that I bought the cutter from has an image on the website I just copy it and paste it right in because that's the easy way to do it um, if they don't have an image of the cutter they actually just have an image of like the line work that the cutter was made from then I take a picture of the cutter and insert it, um, and then I'll put the line work kind of in the corner here. I'm gonna show you a little bit later, um, kind of a, a part way filled in planner and how I used it. But to get an image into the planner, um, you're gonna click on this image tool and over here, like if it was an image you had just saved, it would be right there, but it's not. So I'm gonna click it again and then you can kind of scroll through. I know I have a whole bunch of them down here. So we were in Christmas. Let's find the Christmas cutters. Okay, this cute little snowman. So now that snowman is inserted, I am going to move him up here. I'm gonna scale him. Now I have that image right there. Um, just like that so if if this like line work wasn't filled in I saw that I do have you, you can put whatever you want on this guys so let's say that I just had a picture of the cutter there but the line work wasn't in it then I can just put the line work right kind of in the corner over here just so I have it for future purposes and those future purposes for me every single time is procreate um so if i come out of here i can click on this image click edit push it again hit share copy and then i'm going to come out into procreate and I'm going to create a new page. I'm going to use three fingers, swipe down, and paste it. And now I have that image right in Procreate to start editing it or coloring it in or doing whatever I need to to create a cookie set. So those images are saved and resizable from your cookie cutter organizer. Okay, so that is basically how I fill in cutter information. I am going to blast over to one that I already had on here. It's a little bit older. It doesn't have the help section, but it does have stuff filled in. Oh, wait, I can come back over here. So also the one that I'm showing you, this one has the cutter maker, the size, the location, and the description. Um, This one where I have it filled in, it doesn't have the location but it is on yours, um, so yeah. But anyways, I'm gonna show you the searching your handwriting. Um, so I have, this is the Christmas section. I have it filled in with quite a few cutters um, and it's all filled in. Um, so the absolute beauty of this planner is you can write whatever you want down here under the description. You could write down what you want to flip it to, um, 
anything. You can write anything and then it's searchable um, just by hitting the search button. So let's see what I have a lot of. I have I have multiple gingerbread people. Okay, so I'm going to hit, let's actually come right back out to the index. You can see I'm not cheating at all. I'm going to come out of navigation, come into index, hit the search, um, and I'm going to type in gingerbread. Um, and it finds everywhere that you wrote gingerbread in your planner. And you saw that my writing was not the neatest. Um, Maybe her writing is like super, super sloppy and won't be able to recognize it, but it seems to be able to recognize handwriting great. So it found two instances of gingerbread on page 27. Here and here, if you hit the search again, it remembers your search. It found one instance, or was it two? I wrote it twice here. So there was the gingerbread and the gingerbread house in these minis. And then there was the gingerbread man there. So that is how you, that's basically the power of this planner is whatever you write. Um, this doesn't just need to be a description of what the planner is. You can write what any information that you want to search um, in that section. And I think that's basically it. I had a, another video going on how to install this um, planner. It, I actually did it with the uh, digital cookie planner, but you install it exactly the same way into GoodNotes. Um, so yeah, I will link this video. Let's come back over to the one that you're actually going to get. Um, I'll link all these sections right here. And I think that's it, guys. I hope that this planner or this organizer, I keep calling it a planner. I guess it is kind of a planner, um, works for you and it helps you in your business not to spend so much money purchasing duplicate cutters. Um, I forget like what cutters even are. So if it's in the Christmas bin and I don't recognize it, I could like flip through the pages and figure out what the heck that cutter was supposed to be. Um, I see this just being so helpful with my cutters and my business, and I hope it is with yours also. Thanks.